Here we have the top movies on Rotten Tomatoes and it updates automatically as new movies are released. And here we have the same data in Excel, which includes the picture, actually a chart that shows the rating and all the other details. And it's linked live to so update in Excel as it updates online with the click of a refresh button. I know it's David I'm and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tick of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. So check out my other videos. And now let's get started on how to do this. So here we are in a blank Excel file. And if you go to the data tab and then you choose in the get data section from web here. So I'm going to just copy this link and then paste it here, control V. Then you will get some more advanced things like a suggested table, which uses AI to try and suggest it, which has, as you can see, the ranking, the movie, the year of release, although it's a negative number, uh, percent score, etc. But we're gonna go a bit further and do add a table using examples. And then this is pretty cool because you see over here what the data is in the non-table like format. And over here, we're going to enter it. So I'm gonna write the movie name. So salt burn like that, press enter. And then Excel will actually try and figure out if it's the same, yeah, night swim, society of the snow, etc., etc. All right, so let's rename this to movie name. And then let's keep going and let's say here 71% enter number one. Let's go here and say uh, emerald fennel. And we can keep going with some other details. So here I'm going to say starring Barry, that one, enter. It has to be in line. So if I wrote the night swim actors, it wouldn't work. And then we can also do a critics consensus and synopsis. So I'll just do those quickly. I've added those and renamed the titles and we'll get rid of the first word synopsis and stuff like that in a little bit. What we're gonna do now is get the image. So I'm gonna right click on the image here and I'm going to choose copy image link. And then I'm going to add a new column. And here I'm going to paste, press enter. If it doesn't get it right the first time, try a couple more. So I'm going to copy image link again. And there we go, now it's done it. And I also wanna get the year, but unfortunately it doesn't always work perfectly. And the only way I can get the year is if I write salt burn 2023, 71%. If I just try and write 2023, then nothing comes out that's relevant. So I'm gonna do salt burn 2023, 71, and we'll just extract that one. Enter, rename them so image, link, and yeah. So press OK. And then you get to this, and we have table two. This is the one we're gonna load. There are two options. You can either do load, and then it takes it straight to your Excel file. That's the easy option. Or transform data, this allows you to do extra transformations, like removing the word synopsis, removing the number sign, getting the band, etc. I'll show you how to do those things later in this video but you don't need to use Power Query in order to get the image and do other things like the bar chart as well. So I'm gonna click on table two and then load. So this is how it shows you if you just click close and load directly from there without going through Power Query. However, if you go through Power Query, you can do other things like get rid of the word starring in every row, critics consensus in every row, make these whole numbers, make these stored as numbers rather than stored as text, and also get bands of this. So something like this, 70 to 79 for 71, 20 to 29, etc. So I'll show you how to do those Power Query steps later in this video. But if you don't want to go through Power Query and you just want to get this, then I'll still show you how to get the rest of the part. Um, so here we have the image link. And what we want to do is we want to convert this into an actual image. So here, if I call this image column, it adds a new thing because this is using an Excel table. Excel tables, really, really useful. They are always used when you get data from web or go through Power Query and you can change formatting and things on a table-wide basis. And it's got loads of benefits. I'll go through those in another video that I'll link to as well. So here what we're gonna do with the image is we're gonna use a brand new function called equals image. And then if we only have the source, we're gonna leave the others blank. So click on there and close our brackets, press enter. And then resize this and we should see connect. You might see connector, you might see blocked from my experience. 
and there is currently a bug, I believe, but hopefully that shouldn't be there in the future. But I can overcome that bug if I load this on Excel online, then I'll show you how to do it in a second. But um, if we also want to get a bar chart, so what I can do is I can do equal to in this cell and then click on the score here, press enter, and it's just going to link to that. I'm going to say chart like that. Then I'm going to select it all and I'm going to go to the home tab and conditional formatting and data bars and choose something like this, which I think looks pretty nice. If you want to get rid of the number as well, go to manage rules, edit rule, and tick the box that says show bar only. Press OK like that. And I would probably also get rid of the green background. So I would do something like this in my table design and get rid of that. Uh, you might also want to have the number next to it as well. So have here I can insert and I can have here equal to this number there and then select all of this column and in the home tab click on your percentage sign and here you have score like that. It doesn't allow duplicate names so RT score like that. Great. So this is all showing me well and good except that I have this image thing. At the moment, the only way that I know to deal with it is through Excel Online, which is uh, you need to save your file on SharePoint or OneDrive. So I'm going to go to File and then Save As. I'm going to save it onto my SharePoint here. So once you've done that, next what you can do is you can go to File and then you can choose Info and you can go to open file location. This will take you to the folder in Excel Online where it is, and then you can navigate to it like that. So here I'm in Excel Online, and at the time I'm making this video, this is a critical warning that doesn't show up in Excel Desktop, but if you click on Turn On Images, then it does work. So all you need to do is resize your rows, and there you go, and there you have it. Fortunately, if you go from here back to Desktop, it also will not clean it up. For now, this is as good as it is. So now let me show you how to clean it up and get something that is more like this. So from this view, click on table two. And then instead of clicking load directly, we're going to choose transform data. So this opens up the Power Query Editor, which allows us to do more. Now, if you don't wanna go through the hassle of the Power Query Editor and it's your first time, you can just press close and load. However, I'm gonna show you a few very simple tricks that you can do to make this a bit better. So um, what we're gonna do is we're going to have only the number here because currently it's stored as text and that's not what we want. We want to be able to just have the number. So I'm going to replace values. I'm going to replace hash with nothing. Press OK. And it's going to show like that. Then I'm going to click on here and replace values. And I don't want that word starring in front of everywhere else. So I'm going to click starring colon space with nothing. Perfect. And then do the same for here. Critics consensus. Replace values. Make sure you select the column. So critics, consensus, it is case sensitive. So make sure you get the right uppercase, lowercase and synopsis as well. Great. Next, what we're going to do is this one. We're going to extract only there. So I'm going to say transform, extract text between delimiters. And I'm going to say starting at the open bracket, ending at the close bracket, press OK. And let's just choose in the drop down list to check. Yep, that all seems fine. So after that, I can change the data type. So choose here and whole number. And I can also choose here and also whole number. Next, I'm going to actually take this one and I'm going to go to in transform tab. I'm going to say multiply by 100. I want to get the bands and this is the easy way to get them and then change this to whole number. Once I have this, this is just showing the whole number. I can go to add column and choose column for examples. I really love this feature because it's so much easier to do in Power Query than Excel. And I can here do bands. So I can say 70 to 79. And then, no, it's not giving me quite right. This is going to be 20 to 29. 
And there we go. And it's pretty much done it. So I'm going to here rename this to be score and press OK. Perfect. Next up, I'm going to uh, move this one. So right click on this and then move to end. Perfect. All right, rename the table. This is good practice. So I'm going to say uh, Rotten Tomatoes top 30 movies. I'm going to go to the home tab and close and load. And then you can do the other steps that I showed you earlier to get the image and to get the bar chart, etc. So my name is David and I'm going to have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. I love talking about the new stuff like this one that just got released. So check out my other videos if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.